hey guys come along with me today as i venture out on the salt river catch some white bass coming up just get outside and do something awesome all right so we're just going to keep it simple today i'm going to start with this little inline spinner here rooster tail and see if we can't start something up so we got a little bit of rain last night but it wasn't a lot um really kind of surprised there aren't more people out here yet but i'm really hoping we can get some of these white bass got a little bit of color to the water it's looking pretty good and we're just going to keep on moving look at that little jig i love finding little a little hair jig we'll hold on to that we might try that in a little bit this is your little jig Thank you for the donation to Rhino Joe Outdoors Lure Fund. Appreciate it. There we go. Oh, my drag is loose. There's a white bass. And he came up and got it right as I was getting ready to reel it out. There we go. We're on the board. All right, that last one came on a monkey milk Bobby Garland baby shad, but I'm going to try this little guy here. Later, I'll come to regret this decision. I should have stuck with the monkey milk. Got a little bit more sparkle on it. We got quite a bit of activity. I, there's fish busting, and it's nice. Let's see what we can do here. Ah oh, man, had a bite there. He came up and slapped at it, but didn't get the hook. I'm getting bites, but I almost feel like I need to use that rooster tail. They're just slapping at it, and you have a better chance of hooking up with that treble hook on that rooster tail. I just like catching them on this. There's a little turtle. All right, after this cast, I'm switching to the rooster tail. All right, I'm going down here. There's a fish that keeps busting on bait down here. There we go. There we go. It's a little one. You're going to get let go. Oh, quick release. So if you notice there, when I caught those fish on the rooster tail, they were barely hooked. And the second one actually fell off as I was trying to take it off the hook. So I decided to switch up to a Bobby Garland baby shad and see what I could do with it. And within a few minutes of trying this chartreuse color, I decided to go ahead and go with my tried and true monkey milk um, because this one wasn't working out at all. And as you will see, it's going to pay off. There we go. Soon I put on that monkey milk, man. Love that color. Yeah. 
There we go. Another one. Go. Yeah, How's it going? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Up that way? Oh really? They I caught I caught two like just a little bit further down but they were busting but they seem to be more active in here <laughs> yeah he's putting on a fly fishing lesson over here <laughs> he's catching left and right i was down here about a week and a half ago and that's all i caught yeah What are you fishing with? I'll show you what I got. Like I, I literally just switched to this and like, just bam, bam, bam. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way it goes, right? Try not to fall down here. This all I'm using is just these are Bobby Garland baby shads and monkey milk. Actually, you ever use those before? I've, I've I use them, but soon, I don't have that color. As soon as I switched that color, they started biting. So did it real fast. Yeah, man. give it a go, man. I'm just I'm just letting it sink to the bottom and it's slowly reeling it, and it seems like they're just wanting to pick it up like right off the bottom. No, I mean, as long as I, I usually like let it sink and then I just reel at a steady pace and they're just picking it up. That's, that's, that's the one you go to Cabela's you never can't find that color. No, you can't. <laughs> they're always sold out. Like I catch crappie on them like crazy. <laughs> it's kind of got like, it's kind of clear, but then it's got that little like silvery finish to it. I don't know. Fish love it for some reason. <laughs> I went, it was like during COVID and like everything was sold out and I went one time and they must have just got a shipment and I got like four bags of them. Oh yeah. Well, you, it, last year you almost didn't know because everybody just bought everything. Everything was sold. They couldn't find jig heads like. I did, but I just didn't time it right. Like I, with my work schedule, I just didn't. Get... Oh, I know. Like I, there was one day I came down here and I just left, cause it was it was thick as thieves down in here. Yeah, it was it was crazy, and I, it seemed like last year every time I got a chance to come down here, it would be like right after a rain, it'd be too flooded out, and I just didn't time it right. There was one day where I came down here. And I literally caught three probably in this hole and that next hole down. And then I just left because it was too crowded. It's funny how they want, they want to they do it's so weird but you know and I was I was here Sunday after that cold front there was nothing so guys it's starting to rain out here 
and I decided to get off that spot, let that other gentleman get up on that spot. I gave him a couple of my lures and let him get up there. Hopefully he can catch some fish before this rain really rolls in and uh, it might storm or something. So I wanted to let him get in there and try to catch some fish. Um, but I had a great day out here, was able to catch them. That monkey milk color came through just on a jig head, caught a couple on a rooster tail, but that monkey milk color seemed to be really what was doing it. And you saw like in the video that once I switched that color and really started dialing them in, I was able to catch quite a few pretty fast. So I got quite a little mess here to take home and clean and have a good time. I've been out here several times this um you know these past couple weeks i was actually out here on sunday and i was out here sunday morning here we go there we go once again out here fishing for white bass and catching little crappie and then i was out here sunday night and i didn't catch a daggone thing well i caught that one crappie um on sunday morning but i met up with kes catch and cook and was able to fish with him a little bit and chit chat about the white bass run and you know just shoot the fish talk you know but as always guys i appreciate every single one of you guys watching i will link all these lures down in the description below and i'm gonna let somebody else take us to the outro today hey guys i know it's a little bit of low light here but i did want to introduce you to my friend here and i want to let him introduce you all to his channel and kind of like what he's doing he's actually got some fish me not so much but caught a few crappie to take home and eat but anyway my name is keith and i'm with cast catch and cook uh, may the 5th my first episode will drop on youtube um, you can find me on instagram at cast underscore catch underscore cook i'd love for you to check me out hey guys i'll make sure to link down in the description below to not only his instagram but also to his youtube channel so that you all can be there whenever he drops that first video on cinco de mayo he's going to be doing white bass with fish tacos so we'll see you there guys can i end you here yeah get out and do something awesome that's right hey